Yeah, folks, it is going on here in downtown Pikeville. The streets are packed with floats right now. All these kids are, are waiting their candy. That's what they're here for. This is the El Hassa Oriental Band of Ashland, Kentucky. We want to thank all these shrines. Now it all makes sense. The costumes, the sword, we get it now. Yeah, now that would be a cool band to be a part of right there. It would. Would you? Which one would you want to be? Maybe the guy on the drum. He has a good beat going right now. He does. He does. I think I want to have the sword, though. He really started out. This is one of the vehicles, the Shriners Hospital Transportation for Children of El Hassa, Shriners, Ashland, Kentucky. Some uh, great work that they're doing out there in Ashland. Coming up, there's another hospital transport for the same. And, th and that's the cool thing about these transport vehicles is uh, they pick kids up wherever they're at and take them to where they need to be. We just don't give enough credit to the Shriners. I'm glad that Hippolyte Days has really just centered all of our attention on what they do. Now, that is cool. I'm not even sure how they're getting along. Oh, there's a driver. Wow. Oh, who would have thought? How did he get in there? I have no idea, but I'd say his legs are going to be hurting. Well, you know, he has Fred Flintstone helping him out, so. <laughs> this is the Pike County A-Team Shrine Hospital Transportation for Children. And they deliver, they say. I mean, this is really proof that all their, their hard work is paying off. I mean, look at all these, of this crowd. Yep, another Pike County A-Team Shrine Hospital Transportation for Children coming down the street here. And of course, what would this parade be without our hillbilly cars? Oh yeah, this is the Dirty Ears Stratton. Dirty Ears, we got to talk with him yesterday, a very good guy. It's always interesting to see what they decide to decorate their car with. The signs, I, you know, all, all these different things they have. Yeah, there's fine stuff around the house, it seems like. Yeah, it does. Oh! Look. Mess with me, you mess with the whole trailer park. Ain't that the truth? That's a huge pair of panties. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Oh, no. <laughs> Stick his teeth out. Oh, domination turned him down, folks. Yes. I have to stay in my post. I can't leave. Yeah, yeah, we have to stay professional, you know, but maybe afterwards. Maybe afterwards. Oh, here comes another one. This is Pappy Donnie L. Hassa. He must be a fan of potties. He has his decorated with potties on him. I wish I had that many potties in my house. I only have one, and sometimes it's a little bit of a hassle sharing it. Well, you're going to have to pick up the pace here. He has your beat. Hey, this guy's turning into Mardi Gras here in downtown Pikeville. We have to bring a little bit of New Orleans up here, and here we have another hibbly car with some kids on it throwing out more necklaces. Yep, clan number one outhouse. All right. I'm getting me some candy, Dominique. Yeah, what do they got? Oh, thank you. Hey, there we thank go. Thank you. you got the hey, thank you. you put mine on here after the parade. Oh, come on, put it on now. Hold my hat. I'll hold your hat. All right, folks. All right, more children throwing out more necklaces. Look at all this. Eat more possum, it says. I think that we're going to have to get some possum after this, Domination. Well, you know, we can always call Hoot. He seems to have plenty. Exactly. Give him my hat back. You take your hat back. Oh, goodness. Look at these bloomers. They didn't get those out of your drawer, did they? Maybe. I, I can't tell, you know. I think they fit her just right. They do. Those are perfect. Oh, I love that shade. We got the Hillbilly Days, Help Crippled Kids, golf cart going down the street. Now, that's a cool little ride right there. He has it made. That's how we should all get around Hillbilly Days. This is the El Hassa oh, clan of Allen, high. Kentucky. I can smell it from here. Uh, me too. You know what? I bet he's going to eat it after this. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably, probably. And they got Ohio tags. That's another cool thing about Shriners is they're basically all over the world. They are. You know, just earlier we had a Shriner come to our trailer. It was from New York. Yes, yeah. It comes all this way. Another little Shriner truck, some very cool designs on here. Oh, they're hand painted too. Look at that creativity, the detail. I know all the, ki all the kids are loving the cars theme on that one. Oh, definitely. And they're having fun throwing out candy. This is the Hillbilly Clan number one, El Hassa of Allen, Kentucky, right here coming down the road. They are very festive this year. Very, very festive. I need some of these decorations for my... And we even have Ghostbusters on the scene. Who are you going to call? All right, Ghostbusters! Now that is probably one of the coolest that we've seen so far. Oh, they've got the they've. We slap them. It's just for a funeral home. Okay. They, they even got the uh, phone number on there. Oh, and the ghost. Look at the ghost. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. 
Oh, the big brown jug. Yeah. Billy really Plan 31. One a bago cafe roadkill possum. Thirty-five cent for some roadkill possum. Hey, fresh muskrat, twenty-five cents. Not bad deals. You can't beat it. Prices like that. Oh my! Now coming up the street right here. That's my man. I am very jealous of that man right there. He has the body that I've always I want, wanted. I want those shorts. This is the Benny Keatum Shriners Oriental Band of Charleston, West Virginia. Oriental bands are just getting it this year. Oh, oh, look at those dance moves. I want a CD. You can't go to Boston, New York and get better entertainment than this right here. Yeah, they're going to be opening up for Travis Tread at the East Kentucky Expo Center tonight, folks. You need to come check them out. It's going to be a good time. I love this belt, too. Very cool belt. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Getting a little bit of interaction here. Definitely, definitely. They're just waving, having a good old time. Good music, too. Definitely. You know what? That's the other thing. A lot of talent. Not much rehearsing's going into all this, either. They're just that professional. Exactly. And, you know, with moves like that, I believe it. Exactly. Yeah, folks, it's nothing but a good time here in downtown Pikeville today. The streets are packed right now. They are. There's all kinds of candy. We have necklaces. The kids are excited. And you know what? The adults are, too. Yeah. I was hoping that some females want to get the wrong idea whenever it comes to these beads, but so far, so good here in downtown Pikeville. The night's still young. Don't hold your breath. Exactly, exactly. It's hillbilly days. Anything can happen. Now, this right here, this car, I want one. Now that is a sweet looking ride. Not only do I like the design, but the color. Look at that blue. What are talking about? That is wildcat blue. No, no, that is wildcat blue. You can see they're bleeding blue here on this Saturday afternoon. They sure are. Whole lot more coming down the street here. Some more candy about to be thrown at us. Oh, she missed us. Guess she's not a fan. It's okay. All right, now this one's Ohio. I don't know if it's that legal to have that many license plates on there, but it's okay. It's a James Bond tactic. If you commit a crime, you just switch them out. There you go, there you go. See, they're thinking ahead. They are. They have a whole lot of fire department decorations on this car. Yeah, keeping the streets safe. We want to thank them for their service. Absolutely. Another Ohio tag on this one. I love all the bumper stickers that these things have on them. You know, where do they find these? I don't know. I'm jealous. I need to decorate my car up just like this. Well, Dominique, I'm not sure if you're aware of the rules, but punch bug. Oh, darn. I missed it. it oh, look at the animals they have on their car. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I was, I was wondering where, where my pets went to. Now I found them. I know. Oh, the kid's picking on the banjo a little bit. That's the next bluegrass star right there. Cute. I love it. The Aladdin Shriners Clan 8 Hillbillies. Whole bunch of hillbillies here in downtown Pikeville today. Well, that's what this is all about. Clan 8 Hillbilly Shriners. Want to thank them for everything that they do. National Sarcasm Society. I feel like that's us. <laughs> we need one of those. Uh, look at the crochet possum in, on the front of this vehicle. Now that's talent right that there. That is talent. The Antioch Hillbillies. Drinking and driving. Now that's not okay, but he's not going too fast, so we'll give him a little slide. What are you talking about? That's apple juice in there. Exactly, exactly. Again, more Wildcat Blue. Some Go Army stickers on there. Support Cole or sit in the dark. We all agree with that. Absolutely. And they just keep on coming yeah, here, folks. The hillbilly cars this year are just abundant. Now, yeah, they, they do not run out. I'm pretty sure some of these are just circling back around and coming back down. They just swallow the decorations really fast like a pit stop. Exactly. Charleston South Kakalaki on the scene. Oh, and they have some grooves going on. Oh, yeah. Wow. A little Dairy Queen sticker really making me hungry. You know what? We always talk about Dairy Queen somehow. Yeah, I know. The ice cream. Those blizzards are delicious. They are good. And of course, here comes another. Now these are some sweet looking rides. 1-800-GRAB-DUI. Ohio. 
This is the Omar Temple Clan 82 Outhouse Number One. What they give out limo rides in this one, so if prom season's coming up, ladies and gents, rent this vehicle. I wish I would have done that for my prom. That's how you ride in style. But there's a potty right on us, so you don't stop for bathroom breaks. There you go. Some more tunes coming down the road here. That's another thing about these trainers. They're all are so friendly. And they're very cheerful. Hey, he has handcuffs. Uh-oh. Now, if you act up, that guy's going to get a hold of y'all. Here comes Hillbilly Clan 82. Now, that right there is louder than the horn on my truck. Yeah, you really need to work on that. Yeah, yeah, I do. I need to hit these guys up for some advice. Definitely some tips. Now, I need that for the living room. That's a nice looking couch. You need curtains to match it as well, so make sure you get both an, an upper bow. This is the Hejaz Spartansburg South Kakalaki Hillbilly Clan number two. All right. Some more veteran stickers. out there need to take some notes. That's how you get the ladies. Now, I see so many people riding around on these golf carts here in downtown Pikeville. We need to invest in one next year. You know, his spray's water. Oh, now that's Hi. doing good, buddy. Doing good. Yeah, All buddy. All right. Good Billy Clan number five. Cincinnati, Ohio. Now, that right there is a guitar. Oh, if there ever was one. She's been spending too much time in the bathroom because that is all bathroom accessories right there. You know what? You got to use what you have. Exactly. She needs some newspapers or a cell phone to flip through or something. She's getting way too bored in there. Oh, nobody has time for that these days. This is the Hillbilly Shriner Clan number five of Cincinnati, Ohio, and wow. You know what? I want that design for my living room walls. I want that design for my truck. They seem to got a good thing going on. They do. I love this. This is not a vehicle. They carved this out of an actual tree, folks. And they even put a motor in it. It's amazing what Shriners can do. This is the Hillbilly Clan number five of Cincinnati, Ohio, and they got them jam-packed there in the back of that truck. Well, you know, that's why you have one this big. Oh, uh, he's been in Hillbilly jail. Oh. Uh -oh. Naughty, naughty. Wag of the finger goes to him. We need to go get the handcuffs, man, with the handcuffs. Oasis, Hillbillies, We Ride for Children. And of course, what would this one be without some authentic Hillbilly music and banjo picking? Exactly, exactly. Oh, look, it's goofy. Even Disney makes an appearance. <laughs> you know, they heard that you were coming they and they. Yeah, they did. Now, who is this here in the back? <laughs> oh, you need that for your truck. <laughs> now, that, that was cool. The Oasis Hillbillies We Ride for oh, Children. Wow. Look at his possums. That is dinner for tonight. You know what? Forget chicken on a stick. Let's start possum on a stick. I there, really nice. there we go. We'll get who to start frying some up. The Big Sandy A Team, El Hassa Shrine of Asheville, Kentucky. They are just showing up today. Folks, and we are not done anytime soon, okay? we, The streets are packed here with floats. And people. Oh, yeah. Of all ages. That's, that's another thing, too, about Hillbilly Days. All ages. Yeah, not just children. It's not just adults. Everybody comes out and has a good time. There's something for everyone here. Exactly. This is the Knott County Shrine Club. I wonder what they have in the back of that thing there. That's probably the Hillbilly Jail. There might be a good reason we can't see what's back there. You're probably right. Now, oh, now, let me tell you. This guy right here, this is actually street legal because you can't run over it. It just fits right under your car. He has it going on. He's smart. He knows. That's that's a character that you can unlock in Mario Kart. I wonder what he can throw to be a superpower. Possum. Possum. There you go. And Jimmy Kenny driving down the road on that little moped oh, of his. He has a hog on his hog. Ah. Oh. Oh, look at those moves. He knows what's going on. I see what he did there now. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, and now we have the Hillbilly Day pageant and Ooh. princess winners, Miss Darley Ray Hamilton. Hey, look at her. Isn't she pretty? She is. She's gorgeous. Very big congratulations to her right there. Now we have the 2019 Hillbilly Day Queen, Sophia Zaley Tackett. You know, this is really awesome because you, you, you go out to, to all these places and you hear a beauty pageant and you never hear of one close to home. And exactly. we're bringing that here at Hillbilly Days. Oh, yeah, and some winners that truly deserve it. Oh, absolutely. Look how cute she is. She knows she bad. She knows she bad. Oh, she does. Oh, oh, we're getting away. We got oh, away. We got away, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at her. The crowd's going wild. She is too cute. See, this is really good for these little girls. Oh, yeah, it is. And I am extremely jealous of that one's crown right there. Me, too. I wonder how much that costs. <laughs> too much for us to afford. This is Bristol Isaac. She's the 2019 winner of the Little Miss Hillbilly Days. Best personality, most photogenic, prettiest eyes, prettiest dress, and hillbilly competition queen. All right. She is driving in style, too. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the go forth for governor. A little bit of political action here on this Saturday afternoon. Oh, look at their signs. You know, I really like his whole symbol there for Kentucky. It is an, it is a neat symbol. I didn't even know what that was there. Uh, you got you got good eyes. Yeah, I need better shows, glasses. It shows the mountains. It shows the fields for agriculture and the sun. Because you know. We should change it to the sun never sets on Kentucky. True, true, very true. And now the American Red Cross disaster relief, just in time for that storm that we had yesterday. That was a rough one. It took a, a big hit. Yeah, folks, so if you were if you were hurt in that storm yesterday, we got the American Red Cross now on the scene. Not to mention the fire department right behind them. You hear them before you see them. It's very loud. Well, that's our job. The Mac attack. I like that. I do too. I wonder if that's the captain. This is the <laughs> Island Creek Volunteer Fire Department. We want to thank them for everything that they do, keeping our streets safe. Absolutely. And you know, these guys are volunteer firemen, so they're donating time and money to help you know, their neighbors and their community. Yeah, they're very special people, that's for sure. Now that man is all about taking chances. Oh yeah. It's for the kids, you know. Sitting right on the front of the fire truck, ladies and gentlemen. We apologize for the sound. A little bit loud right now, Domination. A little bit, but that's not stopping us. 50 years of dedicated service established in 1946. We want to thank them for every year. Oh, they have little babies on the fire truck and now we have the Shelby Creek volunteer rescue squad again thank them for their service their dedication to keeping everyone safe and these cats are out of Dorton Kentucky they got some water there on the truck staying hydrated always good there oh and candy canes I am Christmas in April why not well, you know, you have the Hibbley Christmas in July, so you might as well. It's a little, yeah. little break. They're just getting ready. Yeah. It's always good to be prepared. Absolutely. And this is the Shelby Creek Rescue Squad of Dorton, Kentucky. Thank them for everything that they do. Yeah. Some people are actually going out of the barriers to get some of this candy. They want to be careful doing that. Don't think they're supposed to, but. Well, that's not a good idea. But that, that, Just wait till after the parade, then you can, you know, go to the streets. That's the one kind of funny thing about Hillbilly Days. We all come together, but after the parade, all the candy in the street, it's every man for himself. Yeah, exactly. It's not worth it to get run over. For that bag of exactly. I don't know, I see some lemon heads in there. I might take a tire track for one, some of them lemon heads. Or the dum-dums. The dum-dums are good. Are you can have too many? Way too many. I think I'm turning into a dum-dum. Oh, no. 
This is vote Justin Corey Hamilton. Oh, yes, yes, we're being helped out here. Thank you so much. This is a mix. Ooh, I have never heard of these before. They have all kinds of flavors here. All right. Now, we have to start booking our dentist appointments now. That's true. But it's worth it. It's always worth it. Some definitely interaction with the crowd this year. Yeah, one thing that you brought up here at the beginning of the parade, the interaction is like no other parade on earth. Oh, there's Miss Judy Patton walking down the street. She is a great woman. She's done a lot of good work here in Kentucky and all over the world. She absolutely has. You know, later on the show we'll be talking about uh, her 5K coming up. Yes, yes. Right around the corner. Not much longer. Oh, yeah, she's got to stop for the pictures. I'm sure that she's a very popular woman this Saturday afternoon. She is. And, you know, so is Miss Heather here. She's running. Oh, yeah. For Secretary of the State. Very big political year. We uh, had the stump speaker right before we hopped on air here. Everybody came out for that. Always a very big event here at Hillbilly Days 2019. Well, you know, it's really good for the community to, to, to see exactly who they could vote for. Exactly. I mean, we see all the ads on TV, we see all the ads on Facebook, but here at Hillbilly Days, right. we get up close and personal. Yeah, and you know, just viewing their speeches on the, t on the television is a lot different than seeing how they interact with people in the public in person. This is Wesley Christian School Circuit Riders. Oh, volleyball team we have here this year. I was never very good at volleyball. I tried one time, somebody spiked it, and I'm missing three teeth. Well, someone spiked me in the face, so... It happens, it happens. Robert Lee Cheney for Family Court Judge. They have a very interesting ride this year. We're going to get one of those for Gearheart Communications. Forget the uh, golf cart idea. That's what we're getting. You know what? You get a workout and you look cool while doing it. Exactly, exactly. Getting that summer bod a little bit early. And that's what it's all about. Some more interaction with the crowd going on right here. Again, riding in style, we see that blue. Some people have seen some friendly faces here on Hillbilly Days. This is uh, Edden Holland, 2019. Edlin Holland, 2019, excuse me. All right. Again with the interaction. Not in a vehicle, walking down the street. And, folks, we still have a whole lot to go here on this 2019 afternoon in Hillbilly Days downtown Pikeville. This parade is going to be a long one. But that's okay. We enjoy it. Exactly, exactly. It's always a good time. It sure is. And again, more necklaces, and he's keeping with the silver and blue. Uh, bleeding blue here on this Saturday afternoon. That rhymes. It does rhyme. Look out for my next mixtape, everybody. Drop it on SoundCloud. You know, I tried to get you to write one for Hillbilly Days, and you didn't do it. I know it, I know. We're a little bit busy, you know, but so I'm going to get it next year, just in time. Oh, the Hillbilly Queen is coming up, Miss Ember Edmonds. And she has her clan on the back of that little tailgate right there. A little, hey, if uh, you need them clothes dried right there, she's got you covered. Oh, look at all those trophies. Putting a clothesline in the back of your vehicle to dry your clothes. That is a genius idea. That is a genius idea. You can save on electricity that way. All right, folks, who do we got here? Looks like we have the Creekside Church at Island Creek. And boy, are they festive this year. Look at all these children. These folks actually helped me out whenever I got lost up there in Island Creek. Some of our uh, radio listeners know what I'm talking about there. So a very special shout out to Creekside Church. Oh, and they have decorated their benches like church pews. That is very creative for their flow. Sisters and brothers, it is, we're going to church here in downtown Pikeville on this Saturday afternoon. You know, some people, the way they celebrate Hillbilly Days, probably need a little bit of Jesus in their life. That's why Hillbilly Days ends on Saturday, because we, we go to church on Sunday to repent. Yeah, but I'm not really sure that's how it works. Yeah, it happens, it happens, you know. Welcome to Hillbilly Days, powering... AEP Kentucky Power coming up. That's right, folks. I actually have a, a demonstration going on here down the street. Folks need to check that out. 
A hundred years they have been serving Kentucky. Wow. You know, electricity's life changing. Exactly. We all need it. And folks, the floats just keep on coming here in downtown Pikeville. We also even have a bee coming up here behind of us. I think it's a lightning bug. That would make more sense. Yeah, his body's like a light bulb. This is why I need you, Domination. This is why I need you. I, mean, I told you, it's too many dum-dums. It happens. <laughs> we have the uh, Hatfield and McCoy heating and cooling of Hueysville, Kentucky. Give them a call today, folks, 606-791-6700. You know, I really like their flood because they have an outhouse on the back. And that's not just any outhouse. I mean, look at that, the architecture of that thing. They even have a fan going on in there, and you definitely need one of those for an outhouse. For sure, for sure. And their pig. I love the pig. Some classic Mountain Dew bottles here on the back. Now, that is a cool float. It sure is. But you know what? Even with this, they are showcasing their cooling. Oh, nice, AC nice. AC unit hooked up on the back. If you have an outhouse, you need an AC unit on the back. That's for sure. And now we have the Johns Creek Engine 3 from the Volunteer Fire Department. Thank them for all they do and the hard work and time put into keeping Johns Creek area safe. Yeah, I love the uh, little uh, shout out to Dale Earnhardt that they got going on right there. All the NASCAR fans are really going to enjoy that. Absolutely. And now we have Kent Barney for Judge. His vehicle's coming up. And he's stopping to wave to the crowd. See, another thing, like you said, all of this interaction going on right now. It means things to people, you know. It's more personable. Yep, they're riding in a Farley Tire of Southside Tire. They're open Monday through Friday and on Saturday, but closed for Sunday so they can get in church. Amen. And right behind them coming up, we have Pikeville Mini Storage. I know a lot of them folks out there use them. Absolutely, and they have a very festive float this year, keeping true to hillbilly fashion with the beer cans and bottles. It must be crazy how long they actually work on these things. You know, but it really pays off. It really does. Oh, yeah, you have bragging rights for sure. That is right. Now, I need that for my kitchen table. You do, and the windows. You have to get matching window coverings. Don't forget that. This is Pikeville Mini Stores. They have 50% off all new move-ins. Give them a call today, 606-262-6066. I got Eli. Oh, whoop de do for you. Yeah. Now, that is a but neat no, looking candy cane. You got a Krabby Patty. Oh, I want my Krabby Patty. I love these things. They're so good. That's right, folks. I know we're supposed to be covering a parade, but listen, we're getting some of this candy, too, okay? Yeah, it's not just for the kids. Ah, they can. Eh, they got enough candy at home. They'll be all right. Exactly. They got. They, they can go trick or treating. Yeah, they can go to Halloween. We can't. Yeah, it's unfair. Some more candy being thrown out right now. Oh, there's Laffy Taffy. Everybody loves some good old Laffy Taffy. That's true. Oh, thank you so much. Ooh, Airheads watermelon. watermelon. Hey, that, that's one of my favorites. I like the blue. Oh, the blue is good. Now we have Craig Dammer Furniture. Right at Hibbert Street in Pikeville, Kentucky. Oh, yeah. Right when you go in US 23, you see them right there on the right side of the road. If you need any furniture, go check them out. And, you know, they are, they are local, and it's always good to buy local furniture. Exactly. Be sure to always shop local, folks. It's very important, especially here in eastern Kentucky. And that's the great thing about Hubilly Days with the whole fresh life market they had this year, which was handmade Hubilly crafts. Exactly, exactly. You have a whole lot going on. These streets are packed for miles right now. They sure are. And up next, we have the Remax Legacy Group with Adam Stewart, and if, hometown agent. Yeah, and folks, if you want those Amish donuts, so you don't want to wait in that line that's a mile long, probably right now is the best time to get it because everybody right now is watching the parade. Oh, you're making me hungry, Eli. Sure, those things are good. Somehow we always talk about food on here. Yeah, yeah, we do. But you know, food, you could say, is life. Food is life. I mean, technically, you need food to live, so technically, yes, food is life. There we go. That's how you get around it. Now we have a Ram 3500 Heavy Duty. I say that thing is a gas guzzler. Yeah, but it's cool. It's a turbo diesel. Ooh, I wonder how fast it goes with the turbo. Hmm. It's probably not what that means, but I don't know anything about vehicles. <laughs> 
That's okay. <laughs> now, if you really act up here in downtown Pikeville for hillbilly days, don't worry about the police officers, okay? We have actually called in the Army. What is that that you got? I think I have coloring sheets. Oh, and just in time for Easter, a nice Easter egg. There we go, there we go. Hey, even some cups right here. Express. I'm glad we don't have to clean all this up. You and me both. You know what? That's why the kids are here. Exactly, exactly. We're putting them to work. And we want to give a very, very, very big shout out to all of our brave men and women out there serving our country. And all those who have served before. It's a huge, huge honor to be able to say that we live in America and we could not live in the land of the free and the home of the brave without them. Exactly. This is the National Guard that we got coming through right now. And the really cool thing about National Guard, if there's any uh, young men and women out there that maybe have a little bit of a hard time paying for college, the National Guard will help you out. And that's wonderful. That's a wonderful thing that they do. Yeah, and not only do they help out with college, but you're serving a great purpose, and that is serving our beautiful country. And then you'll always find career opportunities within that that they help provide. Exactly, folks, and, and uh, the National Guard is also located right here in downtown Pikeville, so if you're in town for Hillbilly Days, be sure to stop by. Absolutely. More candy, more candy. There's going to be a whole lot of dentist appointments. Uh, and now we have the Shelby Valley Daycare. Some very cute kids up there on that float. I think that little girl right there is eating all the candy, but I don't blame her. I don't either. You know, it's hard to resist. I mean, look at it. It looks delicious. I can't sit there with a bag of candy and not eat any. No, that's just criminal. <laughs> Folks, the floats just keep on coming. Right now we have vote Justin Corey Hamilton, family court judge. Hold, the big election's coming up right now. It sure is, and of course, you can't forget that April is Child Abuse Prevention Month, a very, very important cause. That's right, folks. It says just say yes to foster care. 9,809 kids in foster care in eastern Kentucky. Wow, that's hard to believe. Yeah, and they, and they do some great things with those children right there, so a very big special shout-out to them. They sure do, and now we have Trans America Insurance. You, where you can call Christina Huff for your insurance needs. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Give her a call today, 606-385-0924. And she just gave us all kinds of candy. All right, we like her. Oh, my goodness. Now look at this baby on top of the truck. Is she cute or what? My heart's melting right now, folks. It really is. She is the 2019 pageant queen and hillbilly queen, Miss Liliana June Damron. She got prettiest eyes, most photogenic, and best personality. And they hit all the right notes right there. Thank you. Oh, Domination gets some starburst here. Starburst. Oh, man, I hope it's red. I, hope, I like the pink. No, that's I like one of my... the pink, too. I do. But all, but all starbursts are good. Right now we have Pikeville Garage Doors, LLC. All right. You know, there's nothing worse than having your garage door tear up in the middle of the night. Exactly. And then you got to sleep out there, make sure nobody comes in, all that, yada, yada, yada. Call these guys to handle that. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Thank uh, you. I have all butter right. fingers. Oh, I got it, ladies and gentlemen. What is this thing? It's a, a balloon? If you start acting up, Domination, I'm going to go upside your head with this thing. All right, that's fair. WSAZ News Channel 3 is here. Everybody's on the scene here in downtown Pipeville, folks. That is right. And speaking of food and hunger, we have Gaddy's Pizza. Eat, play, partay. My goodness, I love pizza. I just love Getty Land. Not only do they have the pizza, you know, but then you can go back and they have the games, they have the TV room. I know that it's supposed to be for kids, but listen. I have a good time going there myself. Oh, I do too. And you know what? So do parents because they can just say, okay, kids, go play. They eat and then they go play. Yeah, try to find a babysitter that gives you a pizza buffet. Not going to happen. Gettyland will do that. They will. And what do we, and we have the rest of the Gettyland float. Now that is a hot air balloon if I've ever seen one. You think they'll let us take a ride in it? Maybe, maybe. I think I just want pizza. I'll settle for pizza. 
Well, there you go. Oh, and the East Kentucky Dream Center is right behind them. They offer free hot meals, free clothing, and more to those in need, which is a wonderful thing they're doing here. That's right, folks. And the line is still for miles long. I see cars as far as the eye can see. So you might want to grab your popcorn because we're going to be here a while. Now, that's a cutie. That is a cutie. Canine friend right here in the parade. Oh, yeah. Man's best friend making his way downtown here. And now we have the mini queen princess. I'm not sure of her name because it is not on the float, but congratulations to her. They have a huge bag of Tootsie Rolls there in the front seat. I want to know where they got it because that thing looks delicious. And now we have Jason Griffith, Secretary of State. If that's my cousin, I'm going to give him a little little call right there. Okay? It might be. You never know. That's right, folks. I am related to Andy Griffith, if anybody's wondering out there. I'm really not. I tell people that. I don't, I don't think you are. Yeah, I try to make myself feel more kind of special, you know. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Right now, coming down the road, we have Kelsey Hayes Coots, State Auditor. All right. We definitely have a lot of political floats in this parade this year. I mean, the line just keeps on going. There's beads as far as the eye can see here. And, hey, add them to the jewelry box. Why not? Yeah, I've got my blue on. Yeah, I've got my green. We are styling and profiling here in downtown Pipewell. And that's what it's all about. All right, folks, now coming out, we have the Big Sandy Community and Technical College. And they have their mascot right in the back of the truck. That's right, folks. A very big special shout out to Big Sandy Community and Technical College. It's getting a little bit dangerous here. People are kind of crossing the lines a little bit. Yeah, folks, if uh, you're watching on a phone out here in downtown Pike, well, please do not go past these barriers right here. It is very, very, very dangerous. Yeah, the city of Pikeville Police Department just did a lot of work in putting these up, and they're there for a reason, your safety. Exactly, exactly. A whole lot of people are looking for a pay out here. And now we have Eugene Sisko, vote blind justice for all, family court judge. All right. That is a cool ride. That is a cool ride. Oh, they have gummy bears. Hope they're not sugar-free. Twizzlers. They have Twizzlers. No, that's an underrated candy. I'm just saying. Listen, I know a lot of people out there don't like Twizzlers, and if you don't like Twizzlers... You're wrong. You are wrong. I mean, it's so good. Oh, thank you so much. That we got we got some people helping us out here. We want to give them a special shout-out. Now we have Clayton Holmes in Harold, Kentucky. Oh, yeah, right beside of where we're working. Absolutely. They've been helping Generations in Pikeville since 1973. That's right, folks. Some very good deals to go check them out for your new future home. They have some beautiful homes down there. They really do. They really, really do. And they're right beside of our broadcast studios. Gearheart Communications. And now we have even more pre-team winners and beauty pageant winners. Aubrey and Lara. I love those names. Very pretty names. Very pretty names. And very pretty girls. They are having a fun time throwing up candy. And look at those crowns. Still very jealous of those crowns. And, folks, this parade is turning into a car show because we are seeing some very cool rides here. I'm jealous. You know what? When I bought my vehicle, I should have opted for one of these. I know. I, I, I love my Chevy Colorado. Don't get me wrong. But now that right there, that's a car. And look how stylish. Oh, we even have, uh, looks like Santa Claus right there in the driver's side seat. This is what he does in his spare time, folks, is coming down to Hillbilly Day. So all you naughty kids out there, you better watch out because he's always watching. Now, look at those beards. I'm jealous. Now, this is yeah, something I'm extremely it. jealous of. You that is hair gel and a half. Like can, can I feel it, sir? Can I feel it? Now, that, that's genuine. Wow, now, now, wow, look at this. Yeah. Very, very cool, man. How long does something like that take? Uh, depends on the day. Sometimes it's got to deal with humidity or whatever. So, How long did it take you to grow that out to do that? About a half a jar of moonshine. <laughs> there you go, brother. Happy hillbilly days. There you go, folks. All you 21 year and older, take notes. There you go, Eli. Now we have Red, Brown, and Williams Real Estate Services. All right, and coming up, we have Emma Grace Johns, who is Miss Kentucky Teen 2019. Very cool ride, styling and profiling. Mm -hmm. 
And folks, we are not slowing down anytime soon. Like we said, the streets are packed with floats right now. Yeah, this one is Philip Wheeler, state senator. Something going on on the other side. Oh, trying to get a picture right there. See, that's another cool thing about all these parades. I, I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, all familiar faces here just having a good time in downtown Pikeville. They sure are. And, you know, that's what Hillbilly Days is all about. Yeah, it's basically one big family reunion. It really is. And you know what? You don't have to be related to be family. Exactly. We're all family. Right, about this part of the country. That lady right there taking some chances walking across the street. We do not advise that you do that. No, nope. stay behind the barrier. Now we have Pikeville City Commissioner, for Pikeville City Commissioner Allison Powers. She is running. She has all her friends in the back there. Hopefully they don't like kind of speed up like a vroom and then everybody fall out. We don't want that to happen. Well. We can still have America's Funniest Home Videos if it does. Yeah, yeah, well, we will have this on YouTube if that happens. This is Poppy Mountain Boarhead, Kentucky. I like it. And I've heard nothing but good things about this place right here. This is Slim Chickens of Pikeville. Life-changing chicken. Life-changing? That's right, folks. You, you walk into this place, you walk out a totally different person. I've never tried it. I'll have to now. I've heard nothing but good things. They got tenders, they got wings, they got everything that you need. Yeah, the, what I really heard great about them was their variety of sauces. Oh, really? Yeah, they have a huge array of sauces, not just your average ranch and buffalo. Yeah, yeah. But I'm talking normal. about a long list. Oh, so folks, and they also cater for anybody having events out there. Adam needs to take hints out there. Exactly, exactly. And folks, everybody, if you, I'm telling you, if you're watching right now, you're probably getting hungry because we are not, not only do we have Slim Chickens, but we have Moe's Southwest Grill. Oh, they have Sour Patch Kids. Okay. They probably win with that. And, and coming up, we have Penn Station East Coast Subs. I love their subs. Listen here. I like Subway, okay? I love Jimmy John's. They are both great restaurants, but I like my Penn Station. Oh, I do. That Philly cheesesteak or Woo! the club, you cannot Woo! beat it. No, you can't, folks. No, you can't. Give them a call today, 606-509-7366. candy. They should just start throwing subs. You know, we would like that a little bit or more. Or cookies. Have you had their cookies? Those cookies are the bomb.com. Oh, they so are. And this guy's bleeding blue. He's even got a cat's tag right there on the front. Sure does. This is Rocky Rocky Adkins, Stephanie Horn, Governor and Lieutenant Governor. They are running. Yeah, folks, they have some bumper stickers right there being given out. And look at all their friends they have with them today. Like we said, folks, a little family reunion is going on here in downtown Pikeville. It sure is. And here comes another float for them. They have all kinds of people with them today. They even have stickers. Look at those stickers. Hey, thank you very much, buddy. Everybody likes stickers. They do. And, folks, this, the line just keeps on coming for downtown Pikeville right now. We have, oh, this is another Rocky Atkins right here. May 21st, that election is just right around the corner. Man, that's the day before my birthday. Look at you. Oh, my gosh, I got Minnie Mouse. Folks, if you don't tune into the show on a daily basis, which you should, Foxy and Friends on WIFX, Fox 94.3. Yes, you should. You have no excuse not to. Monday through Friday, 7 to 10 a.m. But those of you that do know, Domination, very big Disney fan. Huge Disney fan. So this is... This has made my day. Best yeah. part so far. You even have a uh, Minnie Mouse oh, umbrella. That's just my umbrella. But they knew you were coming. They knew you were coming. And, you know, she threw this right at my feet. It was meant for me. Yeah. Uh, a little lost balloon right there. Oh, no. Uh, it always breaks the heart when you see a lost balloon. Oh, especially when you accidentally let one go when you're a kid. Uh, I'm still traumatized from whenever I was four years old and I let a balloon go. It happens. Unfortunately, it does. But there's plenty of balloons here in downtown Pikeville. Just, uh, so yeah. many politics today. <laughs> they know what they're talking about. That's they true. Are. That guy right there is going to have a very hard time talking tomorrow. That's for sure. He's going to sound just like this. That's true. That is true. And, and we, we have the sheriff's department, Pike County. 
Now, folks, always be sure to uh, support all your local police officers. You don't want to end up in the back of that vehicle right there. Absolutely not. Be sure to slow it down, all you hillbillies out there coming into downtown Pikeville, because they are on the scene, and they want, want you to have a good time, but if you act up, they will take your butt to jail. They sure will, and you can't forget your Pikeville City Tourism and McCoy Motorsports. Pikeville City Tourism, they do an incredible job keeping great events coming into Pikeville and all the surrounding areas, so a very big special shout-out to them. Absolutely. You know, we have a lot going on in this region that a lot of people just don't realize. Yeah, exactly. And also, folks, uh, speaking about the morning show, we do keep you updated. You can tune in at 9.15. We tell you all the uh, local things that we got yeah, going on. Yeah, tune in at 7.30. Exactly. Yeah, tune into the whole show. But at 9.15, we tell you everything that's going on because, like you said, there's always stuff going on. If you say that there's not, you're living under a rock. Absolutely. They really highlight it, too. And, of course, we have more Hibbley cars. Oh, yeah, this one's out of Charleston, South Kakalaki right there. They're jamming out. I've seen it before. I recognize that Dairy Queen sign. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm telling you, some of these are just circling back around and coming through. See y'all folks later. And that does it, folks. That does it, folks. We are through with the Hillbilly Days 2019 parade. We hope you enjoyed all the flows that were coming down. You know we did. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. There's still a whole lot more going on, okay? So come to downtown Pikeville for Hillbilly Days 2019. We'll see you when you get here. I'm Elijah Griffith. And I'm Dominique Mims. And, folks, we'll talk to you soon. What business are you in? Building, growing, life-changing. Let us introduce ourselves. We're in the speed business. No, not that speed. 500 megabits per second speed. Enough speed for this, this, and this. Speed that delivers orders, big orders. Change your tax bracket orders. Ready for takeoff? Let's do some business. Get 500 meg cable internet from IMC Business Broadband for as low as $239 a month. Bundle with business telephone and save even more. Appalachian Wireless has a question for you. Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? If you think this answer is simple, then the Appalachian Advantage plan is for you. Pay less upfront for today's hottest smartphones, and then pay just a few dollars more every month on the monthly bill. Many smartphones are $5 a month or less after you factor in the $20 discount from the Advantage plan. Compared to the contract offering, better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Payment agreement required. See store for details. Business Internet just reached the tipping point. Tip your hat to the information age. Get a gig for business and upload robust files, complex videos, and compound reports at the same time, in real time, while saving time for DISA and data. Get a gig. Got it? Now get going. Get up to one gig business cable internet from IMC. Bundle with business telephone and save even more. Call us today. Whether you're looking for a new garage door or just need repairs, Overhead Door stands for excellence. With a complete line of garage doors and openers, plus expert service you can trust. Beautifully designed, beautifully crafted, trusted for more than 90 years. Always look for the Overhead Door logo to be sure you're getting the genuine, the original Overhead Door. Today.